Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today we're going to open our camper van by Sylvanian families, also known as Calico Critters. And the Teletubbies are going to help us set up the camper van just as it's shown in the picture here. Here are all the accessories included. There's a ladder, beds, and lots of pots and pans for cooking. The front of our camper van has windshield wipers, headlights, and a license plate that says Holiday with the number 1 and 4 in place of the I and the A. The front door doesn't open, but the two side doors open wide and they have two storage cupboards on the side. The other side has a huge door that opens up and you can see all of their magazines and the top flips up for the beds. There are two little bunk beds. There's a little white sink and a hidden stove under the countertop. Let's put our drawers in. This one is the cutlery drawer and we will put that on the top with our plates and cups in the bottom drawer. Another drawer has the pots and the teapot. And that goes below the stove. Lala is making the beds. She has pink and white bedding. Let's see how comfortable they are, Lala. Lala just fits in. And we can't forget our maps, just in case we don't know where to go. We'll put those in the side shelves. Right, Dipsy? We also have crosswords and trips to the countryside booked. With all this packing, Poe is getting quite hungry. Let's cook up some breakfast for the Teletubbies, Poe. Eggs, tomatoes, and some mushrooms. Mmm. Put them on the frying pan. And we have to always be careful of a hot stove. There's some bread with some tea. Don't forget to wash your hands. And here's our organic natural cleaner. The table clips in, in the middle of the van. Open up the table. Dipsy and Tinky Winky want to play a game of checkers. We're all ready for our camping trip. Thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today, Dougie and the squirrels are going camping in their new camper. And Dougie brought his pet dog along with him. Ruff, ruff. The first thing Rolly wants to do is go on the dock. You can't go on the dock without your life jacket, Rolly. Let's put it on. Safety first. We never go on the dock or a boat, or in the water without our life jacket. Perfect. Now you're ready to go. Rolly wants to jump in the water, but Dougie says, Wait, Rolly, even though you have a life jacket, I've got to come and watch you. Splash. How's the water, Rolly? Oh, it's a little bit cold. Nori and Happy are playing a game of cards. What game are you guys playing? Oh, it looks like it's Uno. Your deal, Happy. The squirrels are getting hungry and Tag's going to prepare dinner. But he has to go to the sink and wash his hands first. Hmm, 
There's some soap. Oh, but that's antibacterial soap. Don't use that. That kills all the good bugs. I know. We have some nice homemade soap you can use. There's even a little frog toy inside. And make sure you sing happy birthday while you wash your hands. That way you know you've washed them long enough. Time to cook dinner. Hot dogs. And for dessert, s'mores. Mmm. Can you whistle like the birds do? Dougie's teaching Betty how to start the fire. Don't get too close. It gets really hot. I'll start a story and you make up the rest. One very quiet night, Eddie heard the moon talking to him. Grandpa Pig decided to stop by for a visit. He's been fishing all day and he caught a yummy fish for the squirrels to eat for dinner. You can cook this on the fire. Mmm, fresh fish. Thank you, Grandpa Pig. It's starting to get dark. Everyone's eaten, and it's time to go to bed. Good night, Rolly and Nori. Good night, Happy. Good night, puppy. Good night, Tag. Good night, Betty. Where's Dougie gonna sleep? Dougie's gonna lay under the stars by the campfire. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. It's nighttime and we're waiting for it to get dark so we can have a fire with Daniel Tiger and his family. There's the moon. Tonight, it's a half moon. It's still the full moon, but the sun is only lighting up one half of the moon tonight. Do we see any stars? I think it needs to get a little darker first. Oh, I spot one. Do you see it? Did you know the sun is a star? It's the nearest star to our Earth. It's now very dark out and we've lit our fire. Daniel Tiger and his sister know fires are very hot, so they don't play games or fool around the fire because they can trip and fall and burn themselves very badly. If we look up in the sky, can we still spot the moon? There it is. And how about that star we spotted earlier? Do you see it? Daniel Tiger and his sister brought their favorite flashlight camping. It actually projects different images. Let's have a look. Make sure the batteries are still working. Yes, it works. Now, can you tell me what image is projected from this flashlight? It gets clearer as I move the flashlight closer to a flat surface. It's a hot air balloon with little hearts all around it. Can you guess the second image? It's a shooting star. Did you know a shooting star is actually a small rock that's burning up in space, traveling through the Earth's atmosphere? It's actually not a star at all. And now, can you guess the third image? It's not a horse. 
It has a horn, which means it's a unicorn. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. We are with our Teletubbies toys camping on the Playmobil RV. And there's just enough seats for each Teletubby. There are two seats in the middle by the table. That's where Lala is going to sit. Poe is going to be the driver today. Oh, uh oh, the seat is facing the wrong way. We need to turn the seat facing the steering wheel. There we go. Be sure to put on your seat belt, Poe. Tinky Winky is going to go and sit beside Lala at the table. Which leaves our green Teletubby friend, Dipsy. Where is Dipsy going to sit? Beside Poe in the passenger seat. We're ready to go. Let's put on the roof of our RV. Shut the door. Uh-oh, Dipsy, you fell out of your seat. There we go. Off we go to our campsite. Ooh, this looks like a great site. There are plants and rocks, and there's the fire pit. Dipsy, what is Poe looking at? Ooh, there's a pink stone in the shape of a heart. We call those heart rocks. Tinky Winky lifts the roof where there's storage. There are three chairs. Let's set the chairs up around the fire. These are called folding chairs. There are only three chairs, but four Teletubbies toys. Lala will sit in one of the chairs and Tinky Winky. And we'll set a rock over here for Dipsy so that Dipsy has a place to sit. Oops! There we go. And Poe gets the last chair. Oop! There we go. Tinky Winky is going to grab a snack. In the top drawers, we have the food and drinks. Let's see what this is. Oh, it looks like apple juice. This is a special treat for camping. The Teletubbies don't drink a lot of juice because it's full of sugar. The Teletubbies love to drink water and stay hydrated. In the middle drawer, there are mugs and plates. There are only three mugs, but four plates, which means we're missing a mug. And in the bottom drawer, we have, maybe this is a cutting board. And then there, oh, maybe it's a map, I'm not sure. We also have a frying pan. They're gonna cook their eggs in the morning on the stove. And there are utensils. There are three kinds of utensils in the drawer. There's the spoon. And then we have a fork. And for jam and honey and peanut butter, we have a knife to spread all of those yummy things on toast. Teletubbies also pack a thermos. A thermos can keep things either hot or cold. Our kids sometimes put warm pasta in their thermos, take it to school, and it's still warm at lunchtime. It's time to 
roast some marshmallows. Let's turn on the campfire. Or should I say light the campfire? Lala is going to roast the first marshmallow since there is only one stick. So the Teletubbies toys need to share. Lala knows not to get too close because fire is hot. It's getting dark and it's time to play shadow games with the little flashlight. Stay tuned for more camping adventures with the Teletubbies toys. And thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hola and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today we're going camping on the beach with Dora the Explorer. She has her big blue tent and we're right by the water. Dora has just set up her tent. There are a few things missing. There is no bedding inside the tent. Dora needs something to keep her warm at night. Luckily, Tiny Treasures has just learned to sew. And they made this beautiful, soft, minky, pink sleeping bag for our toys. It's the perfect fit for our tent. Tiny Treasures also made this soft, little blue pillow for our toys. It's so cute. Dora will be nice and warm tonight. Let's try it out, Dora. Oh, you look so comfortable. Once the sun goes down, it gets very dark. And Dora likes to have her lantern nearby. Oh, there are bugs and creatures. We better put your backpack inside the tent. And let's close the doors so the ants don't crawl in. Usually when Dora goes camping, she meets new friends. Who will Dora meet today? Let's go see who the neighbor is, Dora. Hola, my name is Dora and I'm from Mexico. Hi, Dora. My name is Daniel Tiger. I'm from the neighborhood of Make Believe. Would you like to play with me, Daniel? I love to make new friends. Let me ask my dad if it's okay. I'd love to play with you. Hi, Dad. Is it okay if I play with my new friend, Dora? Yes, Daniel, just as long as I can see you. And don't go in the water, please. Daniel and Dora build a sand castle together. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today the Teletubbies and I are camping. There's our little cabin. And we are in the forest looking for some wood for our campfire. Ooh, there's a fungus on a tree. And look at the roots on this tree. It came right out of the ground. I'm not sure why, but some trees can get sick, just like humans. Here's another fungus on this tree. Back at the campsite, the Teletubbies want to play a game. That's our favorite thing to do when we're camping. How about we play ladder golf? Have you ever heard of that, Tiny Fans? The fire has started. And after ladder golf, we're going to roast some hot dogs. Here's our game. They come with yellow balls and green balls. There's little beads inside. And there's two attached to each string. The first one to 21 points wins. And we use this tool to keep track of our points. Each bar is worth a certain number of points. The top one's worth three, the middle yellow bar is worth two points, and the bottom gray bar is worth one point. And this is how you get points. We throw our ball and string over to the other ladder. 
All right, I hit the yellow bar, so I would get two points. Oh, I missed on my second throw. Let's try one more time. Yes, I got three points for the top bar. Three plus two equals five points. Hey, look, Poe found some red ladder golf balls. You can play, Poe. I'm just going to finish my game with Tiny Treasures. Tiny Treasures is yellow. Oh, the first one was a miss. Now it's time to throw the second one. Oh, another miss. Last chance, Tiny Treasures. One point for Tiny Treasures. We're all getting hungry. It's time for some yummy hot dogs. Tiny Treasures was nice enough to organize each hot dog bun on its own napkin. And now it's time to put our hot dog wiener on the stick. You have to be very careful, Tiny Treasures, Minnie. It's sharp. Oh, I think I'll help you just a little bit. There, that's better. We don't want your wiener to fall off in the fire. And remember, tiny fans, fire is hot. So we stay a safe distance away while we're roasting. And when we're done roasting, the metal stick will be really hot. So we want it to cool and get an adult to help us take the wiener off. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today we're going to go camping. And we have Lala, Poe, Maka Paka, and Iggle Piggle. We need to open our tent up. It's in the red bag. This tent pops up all on its own. It's blue and red. Lala's in the tent. And now Poe's in the tent. Poe's going to jump. She's so happy to camp. <laughs> now Macapaka's in the tent. And Iggle Piggle. Iggle Piggle brought his red blanket. It's the same color as the sleeping bag, Iggle Piggle. Did anyone bring snacks? Oh, look, some fresh cherry tomatoes from the garden. Do you know if a tomato is a fruit or a vegetable? It's actually considered a fruit, but most people think it's a vegetable. Time to eat. Hmm, we're all going to have to share the tomatoes. Let's maybe do some counting so that we make sure everyone gets the same amount. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tomatoes. If we have eight tomatoes and four friends, how many do they each get? They'll each get two tomatoes. Two for Poe, two for Lala, two for Iggle Piggle, and two for Macka Pucka. Their bellies are full and the toys are tired. Macka Pucka plays a lullaby. His belly lights up. And there's Iggle Piggle and Upsy Daisy on your tummy. Lala plays her lullaby too.
Good night, Poe. Good night, Lala. Good night, Macapaca. And good night, Iggle Piggle. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye and good night. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today the Tombly Boos, Maka Paka, and Tickle Pickle are going to build a campfire. We made our little campfire out of tissue paper, stones, and sticks. Mmm, time to roast some yummy marshmallows. But first, Maka Paka must find some sticks to put the marshmallows on, don't you, Maka Paka? Makapaka found the perfect stick for a marshmallow roast. We're all ready. Giggle pickle. You've roasted that marshmallow perfectly. Now everyone is sitting around the campfire and staying nice and toasty. Now remember, when it's a real fire, you don't ever get close because it's very, very hot. And thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today the Teletubbies toys are camping outdoors with our Playmobil camper van. Let's open up the top and have a look inside. There's a little blue table and chair set. And there's a set of stairs to go up where they can store some toys. The toilet. And it's clean. Tinky Winky and I are looking for something. Some small dry twigs. What do you think we're going to use them for? Tiny Treasures and Tiny Treasures Mini are also helping me look for twigs. We are going to build a campfire today so that we can roast marshmallows for s'mores. Here are the sticks that we use for the marshmallows. Our campfire is lit. And here are a few simple rules to follow, Tiny fans. Never play around a fire. Never pull sticks out of a fire. And make sure an adult is always supervising you around a campfire. Fire is very hot and can burn us. And smoke isn't good to breathe in either. Poppy is very smart and he knows that fire is hot. So he stays far away. It's time to open the marshmallows and start to roast them. If we can open the bag, it's quite difficult. There we go. The metal roasting sticks have sharp pointy ends, so we must be careful putting our marshmallow on. And we also make sure we don't point it towards anybody. We hold the marshmallows right above the fire. It's important not to burn the marshmallow. A burnt marshmallow is very unhealthy to eat. So we want it to be a nice golden brown color. Tiny Treasures Minnie is doing a very good job of standing far away from the fire. As we're waiting for the marshmallows to roast, we get our graham crackers ready with the chocolate. We need to be very careful not to drop any on the ground because Puppy is close by, hoping to grab one. Not for you, Puppy. Oops, Tiny Treasures Mini accidentally burned our marshmallows. Maybe I will try roasting one. I know the fire is very hot, so we have to turn our marshmallow quite a few times. 
After a few minutes, my marshmallow burned too. Oh dear, I'm going to throw this one in the fire. Let's give it one more try. We're going to hold our marshmallows a little farther away from the fire this time, where it's less hot. Perfect! We finally have a marshmallow for our s'more. Mmm, -mm. such a yummy treat. Even the Teletubbies toys enjoyed their s'more. Oh, oh, chocolate face. Make sure you don't wipe on your sleeve and you use a napkin. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye.